I want to do something really different and I came up with this idea for Dollar Tree DIY. I've never seen anything like this done yet. If it's if someone's done it, I didn't see it and I've searched. You start with these four bandanas. I'm doing 4th of July colors because it's coming up, but you could use any of their bandanas. And I didn't like the pure white, so I took the uh, two that had the white and I soaked them in some tea. Um, and then I washed them and rinsed them out so that if I have to wash these, I wanted to make sure that, you know, everything was set. So you should always wash things before you use them, fabric anyway, so you can see how it's going to uh, hold up. Now, there is a front and back to these if you look closely you can see that's the darker side is the front and same with this the darker side the more vivid color is the front so I'm starting with four of these bandanas and it's good to iron everything too any fabric thing looks much neater if you iron it The next thing you want to do is line them up. In this case, I feel like they should be lined this way because that's the way the flag hangs. And then your next piece would be the next this pattern. And then you'd have the flag again and then the bandana. And what you want to do is sew on the back side all the way down. These two and then the next two sew to that. So you could do it by hand with the sewing uh, needle and some thread or you could use a sewing machine. And then when you're done it will be like this. And after you sew those two then you want to sew this one to the next one. And you're sewing, you know, make sure you have the back side. So the back side will come over like that and then the next one again the same way and it will come over like that and then you're going to have a straight line these will all be sewn together right okay i've sewed them all together all four of them and you can like i said use a sewing machine or by hand and I made sure, because these can be a little off, I made sure at least one end, end uh, was close, you know, tighter. See where this one's off a little. It's just the manufacturing of it. Okay, then you set your machine, if you're using a machine, on a longer stitch, like four, the length. And you'll have your two strings here, and then you figure out which one it is. And one of these is called a gathering string. And you just gather like this. See how simple that is? I've sewed off and on for years and never bothered finding out how to do this. I would just sew a regular stitch, and it was difficult, and it would break. And then I would get frustrated and end up doing it by hand. But look at that. But if you do it by hand it would be on the same principle now I have to figure out my granddaughter's waist which is I believe 22 I'm gonna remeasure and I will have to add like an inch or more to be able to get it over her hips and then I will once I get this gathered evenly I will place it around this where everything's even I would um, pin one end and then the other end and then make sure the gathers are laid out as evenly as possible okay so it's all sewn up and there it is ready to go now this is something interesting this dog collar is exactly the waist size of my daughter our granddaughter who is nine so if your granddaughter is about that age, there's a chance this might work. I had to ex expand it as far as possible. And you could actually, if it was too small, you could cut this and add a piece in the back. And there's lots of little things you could do, but look how neat that's going to be. Because I don't have a waistband, as you can see, that's just a gather. But this will hide 
that or you another idea is you could use rope this right here would be just as cute to tie around and I may do that to show you um, how that would look we learned this knot in school um, not that the school taught us <laughs> we learned it from each other and we called it a love knot I don't know actually what it was but um, if I can find the end of this I will show you um, one of the other options would be to braid it that might look neat this would look neat braided and then it would be a rope belt you can see that so what we would do is I'm just gonna cut this because I have plenty what we would do is we would tie a knot like this to start and then you you start to tie a knot but instead of tying it all the way you bring it down like this and like that and then you keep doing that that looks kind of like a noose all the way down or as long as you want to and that gives you something kind of interesting maybe for the front and then you could have uh, several pieces of rope and a braid so those are two options and these are both from the Dollar Tree all this is from the Dollar Tree um, and they have some blue I believe so the blue would look really nice they also have this t-shirt for a dollar so we're going to wear that with it and it is the same shade navy I may add some fabric that I got at uh, another store I don't know what you could use another flag you could use some bandana you could shape it like a star and sew it on there that would be neat or just use that witchery and glue it on there we just make it interesting I think to have a little something up there 